Hello everybody, this is local guide of Ranmafana National Park team that form the culture and custom of the Antanala people. And here we are in uh, Ambosari, which is just close by. So there is my team here from the left to the right. There is Esperance, Auguste, Tofe, Angelo, Hello. Sabine, Hello. Tata, Hello. Mami, and Shano. Hello. So here we go, we are going to try to explore the beauty of this village. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are right at the gate of the village of uh, Amboasari. So Amboasari is coming from the name of Orange. So as we can see around this village, there is Orange. So Amboasari is from that uh, name. This is one of the very original village of uh, Antanala people. So Antanala people is one of the 18 tribes that exist in Madagascar and one of the smallest tribes that uh, uh, describe the presence of the forest because uh, these people might not be called Antanala without the forest. So they are uh, Antanala because they left in the forest in the past, but nowadays they are just living approximately nearby the forest. So the plan today is we are going to do all the formality to the village because the customs for these people is when you once you come to the village you have to go and address to the leader of the village which is called the king and uh, this king is going to give us the authorization and the benediction to build, to visit and then to see what we are supposed to see in this village so here we go <laughs> Salama. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Finish. Okay, so here we are in uh, front of uh, Lapa. Lapa means like a uh, palace. So this is the, the, the place where there is a uh, one community hall where the people should be gathered when there is something to be dealt. For example, if you want to have a talk with the Ampa Jaka or Raya Manjani, so you have to be in the hall and then it's there that uh, that is going to happen all the talk with the people and the village manager. Okay. 
Okay, so one of the activity of the people in this uh, village is like evening activity is peeling the cassava leaves as the woman doing now, right now. And you can see the people here, this tribe is very distinguished by uh, the white wear. Uh, you see the lady has a hat made out of uh, papyrus and the head should be a square head for the lady. And also wearing pario or this is what we call lamba or lambawani for the, uh, the woman. So this is very important when people, when these ladies are going to assist to some culture like funeral or a happy, happy festivity. So they have to wear the lamba to give honor to the people who invite them. Secondly, as you can see the uh, structure of the houses here, you see the palafit house. We call it palafit house because uh, now the floor is like hanging up. And underneath is dry because we are in an area which is a very very wet area we are in the rainforest here so the wooden house should be constricted with palafit like this to to not make the wood damaged and also to protect the inside of the house out of the humidity of the floor of the ground so inside is kept dry this house is made out of a wooden and the roof is the uh, uh, iron roof. But then in the surround, you will see also different type of uh, house structures. For example, the other uh, place there where there is a three other guide, you can see the house is made out with dirt and inside there is wooden also with sticks together. And the dirt is put in between the wooden to fix it and when it once it's dry it's like uh, the cement building but it is not the cement it is made out with uh, dirt and this is what we call in french i don't know uh, a house in pise that's uh, what we call it and uh, you can see the roof structure is made out of uh, grass and the uh, ravinala the ravinala is the uh, inside of it the underneath of it is made of a uh, the Ravinala or the Traveler's Palm, which is one of the main benefit construction material in this area, because uh, this is in very large area here. After slashing, burning the uh, area, and it grow and cover the land after the uh, slash and burn. So then they can recuperate it freely from the nature and then uh, use it as a roof of the building. Leaf is like this. This is the leaf of the cassava originally. So the the, the little uh, girl are going to peel it as well here for the uh, dinner time. Hello. Okay, so you see this uh, old building here, which is already crawled off. But uh, this is very important because this is brought by. Uh, a knowledge of the Bichleo people, which is not very resistant here because as we told that this is very, very uh, a wet place and very rainy. So it doesn't resist much with the rain. But in the Bichleo land, this makes a very big difference because uh, the people can make it even like a two or three floors because the, uh, the land, the soil over there is very hard, even harder than the cement. And it can stay like hundreds of years. But then here, people tried, maybe someone from the highland came here and tried to do the same system here, which is only dirt and with the thickness that they count to make the uh, building harder and stronger. But then with the rain that is very abundant to this area, this is not really safe here. That's why this uh, house here ruled away. So uh, that's to explain the difference of the house structure in the Antanala people, in the Antanala area, or the area of the rainforest, and the Pechileu land in the highland, which is a dry area without the rainforest. Okay, so you can see the wooden here is a this is like a stick this is one of the uh, uh, symbol that we can see the people use very small 
wooden for the firewood. So firewood is very vital for the people of the forest because there is no other way of cooking a part of the firewood for these people who live in the forest. And so they used the firewood since very, very long time ago. And nowadays, the other system of cooking, like in the village of Ranumafana or in the cities, are the charcoal. And that is one of the very, very big trouble with the presence of the forest. So that's why people are encouraged to grow the eucalyptus and pine trees to be able to make their own charcoal and then they will not touch anymore in the rainforest, in the natural forest, because that is, even we just think that it's not, it's nothing, but uh, then when many people use the firewood and then they touch the forest in the national park, and that is become like a very massive damage of the rainforest. So nowadays people are teaching to plant trees and uh, make reforestation with uh, exotic trees. As we can see here, these are all exotic trees, which is planted by the people around their village. It's not anymore the trees from the rainforest.